the world's fastest consumer CPU, the i9-14900K. With 24 cores, a clock speed of 6 gigahertz, there is no task, challenge, or game this CPU cannot handle. And it costs a lot of money. But is it worth getting for gaming? And just how well does it actually perform? Of course, there's only one way to find out. So, I went ahead and bought one. This is gonna be a waste of money. You guys asked me to spend more on my videos. <laughs> this is very expensive. <laughs> $700. Oh, it's processing? <laughs> we bought it, and now I have no money. Little did I know how crazy using the world's fastest CPU was actually going to be. And then it arrived. Let's go. Guys, look what I have. I'm so excited. Let's open it. Ah. Come out. Oh, it's upside down. Whoa. Oh my gosh. L look at the inside. The inside kind of looked like a waffle. I9 14th gen. How do I open this? Does it just... Ah, that's a sticky. Why do I struggle with these things? Am I okay? Oh my god, yes. I actually did it. Wow. Oh, I can see myself. We have the i9-14900K. There it is. Anyways, it was now time to put the i9-14900K inside of my gaming PC. But first of all, I had to do a BIOS update to make my PC compatible, and now we were ready. I almost... Oh my- I was just moving the computer, and I almost put it on top of the CPU. Oh my gosh. Ugh. The back panel just- OH THE DUST! Oh. I'm blurring that, it is disgusting. <laughs> Why is it so dusty? We're, we're cleaning that first. And now the part of the video I was really not looking forward to. Installing the CPU. I was very nervous. It is the PC with all my videos on it, so I don't want to break it. <laughs> we need to remove the cooler. I need a bigger screwdriver. Uh, last one. Whoa. There is no thermal paste left inside this PC. No wonder this was running so warm. Now we need to install the CPU. Out with the old. Ugh. And in with the new. Oh god. Oh god, this is hard to open. I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, it's not in. Oh, I did it! I did it! I'm never doing that ever again. <laughs> Don't forget thermal paste and the CPU cooler. How do I reach that? I kid you not, this took an hour. The PC is ready. All we have to do now is make sure the computer works by turning it on. I really hope I haven't broken it. <laughs> and while I connect the PC up, here is today's sponsor. This video literally wouldn't have been possible without the help of ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a leading VPN provider offering users a secure and private way of browsing the internet. ExpressVPN has the same encryption standard as the literal US government. ExpressVPN keeps your personal information safe and all your browser history private. When you are connected to the internet, not just at home, but even when you're on the go. It's no secret that I spend a lot of time editing these videos. I've literally downloaded and edited videos on the bus and at university. And when connecting to these free Wi-Fi networks, Works. My personal data could have just been stolen, <laughs> but thankfully I use ExpressVPN, so I'm never worried about hackers. But one of my absolute favorite features about ExpressVPN is actually all the extra content I get access to. ExpressVPN literally has over 100 countries that you can connect to, allowing you to bypass geographical restrictions. I really want to watch One Punch Man, but One Punch Man is not available on UK Netflix. And now I'm connected to India. And there it is, I now have One Punch Man, without actually having to go to India. If you've got a PC, the first thing you want is ExpressVPN to keep your data safe. Go to expressvpn.com slash guineavpn and find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Woo! I am so nervous that this computer will not work. Oh my god, we're ready. Three, two, one. Wait, did it work? No way. Oh my god! New CPU installed. Let's go. CPU temperature is at 30 degrees. And we have successfully booted Windows. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up Task Manager. Oh, there it is. 24 cores, 32 logical processors. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There is no way we're maxing this thing. All right, Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro opened in just 3.8 seconds. Compared to my old CPU, that took seven and a half seconds. 
Oh my gosh. I then rendered a 4K video and it only took one minute. That's under a minute. Let's see how Minecraft runs. On the fastest CPU. Starting off, how long does it take to open Minecraft 1.20? 10.78 seconds. And on my old CPU, it took around 16 seconds. That's actually twice as fast. How does the 14900K perform on Minecraft? Here's a side-to-side -side comparison. As you can see, there's not much of a difference when loading the exact same world. This footage you're watching right now is filmed before we got the i9-14900K. We are getting 1800 frames per second. We were, we were getting. We are running at 50 degrees, not too bad. And now the 14900K. We are getting literally, oh. Okay. It appears the 14th gen gets slightly higher FPS. 5.6 gigahertz. A much higher clock speed, but in terms of CPU temperature, not much difference yet. We're barely using more than 10% CPU right now. And the game is buttery smooth. In fact, both the CPUs weren't really getting past 10% usage, which is just crazy. It feels noticeably smoother. It is time for 32 render distance. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 84, 84 degrees. 112 frames. It's not really picking up on video, but the game just felt stuttery. 60 degrees, 30% usage, and the 14900K. Oh, 20% still. <laughs> As you can see, the 14900K is definitely slightly faster. I could not get this CPU to run more than 30%. We have failed to use any more than 30% of the i9-14900K. We literally have no idea if it overheats or not. <laughs> Luckily though, I have a plan. If one instance of Minecraft can't lag, how many will? <laughs> I want to see how many Minecrafts we can run at once. Before the CPU overheat. One Minecraft done, many to go. Here comes another. And we're up to 60 degrees. We have two Minecrafts running at over a thousand FPS. <laughs> another one. Three Minecrafts. Well, I could only play one Minecraft at a time, so I came up with a fix. It works. <laughs> it works. I've made a mechanism which keeps the game actively running by loading in chunks. And even though we've only done this once, our CPU is now running at 90 degrees. But now all the worlds are doing it. Oh, 99% usage. 100 degrees. 300 watts. We're down to 100 frames per Minecraft. Let's open another Minecraft. I literally had to wait a whole minute. Yes. The PC is so loud right now. Have a listen. You can definitely tell there's something running in the background. I'm running out of screen. Just one more. It's starting to look like we're thermal throttling. Oh, look at this. We have over 16 running at once. Ready to begin running. If I unpause these worlds, my computer might actually explode. <laughs> unpause, 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 unpause. <laughs> Wow. We got so close to completely overheating, but we did not. 5 FPS. <laughs> this one's getting 16. Oh, 40. Oh, this one's doing good. 200? What? And finally, it is time to try beating the Minecraft FPS record. Our previous record was 15,858 FPS. But to get an FPS record, you need a lot of optimization. So, we are running a custom version of Windows 10. It was time to launch the FPS boosting client and launch a world. And straight away, oh my gosh, whoa. But then, this happened. Oh, no, 16,200! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! An extra 500 FPS over my previous record. Wow, this video was expensive, so please subscribe. Thanks for sponsoring this video, ExpressVPN, and goodbye.